the fucking drill scene in Chicago is based off the violence that's going on on the south side between the G's versus the BD's. Okay, so the fucking biggest GD rapper in Chicago that was just the biggest GD rapper was FBG Duck, right? And the biggest BD rapper in Chicago, Lil Dirt, right? It wouldn't be Chief Keith right now because he's not as active as Lil Dirt, all right? So understand that these people make a lot of money off this war, all right? Now, Anytime, because I'm from the streets, you can't fool me, all right? If you're from Chicago, you know. Or any city, you should know. You're not killing nobody in no downtown and getting away with that shit. Okay, so when he first got killed, you know, I waited like a week. I'm like, man, whoever did it, I don't wish to on nobody. I know they got a war going back and forth, so casualties come on both sides. This is why we shouldn't be at war with each other, because people die on both sides. All right? I get it. I know how it go. But I also know how the police work. They love us to kill each other because that gives them a two for motherfucking one. All right? It's a two for one. You kill a motherfucker, he's now gone. They can use his carbon and his energy to do whatever they want with it. And then harvest his soul and send it back. And they can send you to their man-made jails and harness your physical energy that way. It's a two for one, right? So this one should have got everybody knowing about the duck killing that somewhat right. He got killed downtown Oak Street, Chicago. Busiest intersection downtown, rich, affluent area. Nigga, I wouldn't even scrap with a nigga on, like I said. I wouldn't even scrap with a nigga on Oak Street. Nigga, nigga, meet me on Michigan, nigga. Not even nigga, Chicago Avenue, nigga. Feel me, like a side street, nigga. Meet me on Wells, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? Oak Street, though? Billionaires are on Oak Street. Billionaires, all right? Now, Duck, let's talk about, about, about what they are saying. It's being said in the streets that he was killed by somebody in the streets. I'm not throwing no names out there. I don't do none of that. I ain't no police nigga. I don't do none of that. But the streets is saying that somebody in the streets killed him. And I'm just here today to say the streets did not kill FBG Duck, nigga. Nigga, real life shit, nigga. Just like Zach TV. When Zach TV was solving the Kanika's Jenkins case, what happened to him? He got killed. And then they said some niggas in the streets did it. And niggas believed it. Well, we are awakening today, so you shouldn't believe that. All right? Zach TV was killed because he had solved the fucking Kanika Jenkins case. Which is nothing more than the fact that, like I've been telling y'all, the Kanika Jenkins case saves an example of these reptilian shapeshifters who kidnap our girls and our women and kill and eat them. And everybody else that they had pulled on TV was fucking clones and agents in on that shit, nigga. And the only person that was bringing the truth to light was Zach motherfucking TV, nigga. Ain't nobody in the streets killed Zach. Nigga, the whole Chicago fuck with Zach. Nigga, he was going to any hood in the city in the heart of the war, nigga, and, and was getting interviews. Nigga, what are you talking about? You feel me? But the streets gonna claim it because niggas is clowns and they won't clap. Nigga, we do that. Because that's how it be going. Niggas be in their lower chakra, working on, in their lower self. So the only thing they care about in my city is how many murders they get. Nigga, I got 10 bodies, nigga. That's, 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 that's attractive in my city. So that's going to show you the energy that they have my city vibrating on. And we're going to talk about this today, too. What's really going on in Chicago? All right? Peace to all the guys and guys that's tuning in via YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. Shed alive three times. Because we didn't come to fuck around today. I'm not going to keep holding this in my soul. I'm trying to be, I've been trying to hold it in now. I, I want, because I see too many vloggers vlogging about who killed Duck and this and that. But nobody's really being honest. Niggas is vlogging, pulling other people into it, trying to keep the beef going and shit. I'm not here to keep no beef going. Nigga, I'm here to end that shit, nigga, and let a nigga know, nigga. And let y'all use y'all own mind. Nigga, he got killed downtown on Oak Street, nigga. He been this in the BDs for years. That's how he got famous. Never got killed, right? Never got killed, nigga. Never, nigga. That's not, he never got killed, right? He been dissing niggas. But they want to say Duck got killed because he was dissing the BDs and O'Block, nigga. Nigga, he been doing that. Nigga, that ain't what, what he got him killed. That's the pawn that the media is trying to, the Medea, because she's a lying ass bitch. She's an enchantress. The Medea, the media is painting, just like they did with Nipsey Hussle. Oh, he got killed by one of his homies who snitched. Okay, y'all can keep believing that shit if y'all want to, nigga. Like they did with Pop, nigga. He got killed because of Biggie. Nigga, are you not aware of what Pop was doing, nigga? Rethink about that. For, for his people, nigga. FBG Duck. The man been this in the BDs, right? Been this in the BDs. Nothing ever happened to him. 
Then he get a part of the 2020 Vision movement that my people got going on in Chicago right now where they trying to end the violence. You know, they like, hey, let's put all the guns down. So they reached out to FBG Doug first, nigga. Him being the biggest GD, having so much clout for the GDs, nigga. They like, hey, we get Duck on board, we got all the GDs. And what happened? Duck got on board, nigga. Go look at the video, nigga. He made a video saying, hey, I, hey, we need to put the guns down in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? We need all the, we need to come together. He was willing to squash the beef with the BDs, even though they killed people on his side, nigga. Real life events. Don't nobody ask to get in here, because I'm not finna argue with nobody. Good, everybody look for somebody from Chicago want to argue about that. I'm not finna argue with nobody. I'm going to say what it is and you can believe what you want to believe. You feel me? Let me finish what it is. All right? Peace to the goddess who just sent me that request. I say that with all respect. Goddess. All right? Right? The man FBG Duck made a fucking video and posted it. Like, hey, we going to squash the beat. Let's put all the guns down. Then you had another BD rapper. All right? Lil Zay Osama get on board with the 2020 vision. Right? Then Dirk hadn't got on board yet. But, nigga... You had King Von getting on board, nigga. Facts, nigga. And Dirk would have eventually got on board, nigga. Yes, he would have, because if all the GDs say, hey, we willing to, I know the GDs, but we willing to put that shit in the past and move forward. Nigga, that's going to make the BDs be like, man, I'm going to put all, all the BDs y'all killed behind and we going to move forward. The only reason niggas don't put it behind them and the war keep going is because a nigga be like, man, I, I'm scared if I, if I, if I, really in reality, I'm from the streets, nigga. You ain't gonna tell me that. 